How's it going everybody? Dotodoy here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today. And because we're getting so close to Evo 2019 and a huge Dragon Ball Fighters tournament, I thought today would be a great day to talk about the current tier list for this game. Now, of course, before we hop into it, there are the usual disclaimers with tier list videos like these. Tier lists are highly subjective, so if you disagree with or strongly agree with anything you see in this video, make sure you go down below in the comments and let me know your thoughts on characters. A lot of the fun from these tier list videos, at least for me, comes from reading the comments, so I would highly appreciate that. As well as the fact that when we do tier list videos like this, I usually look at at least a couple top player tier lists just to see what they think about the game. Considering that their experience with this is a lot different from a lot of ours, it can be really insightful to see what top players are thinking when they're putting these characters where they place them. But of course, I have also made a tier list and we'll talk about that a little later in the video as well. And now with no further introduction, we can go ahead and jump right into the tier list, starting with the bottom tier because a lot of that is going to look pretty similar. Uh, and you will see that Krillin comes in across the board as the worst character in the game. This is... Uh, uh, this is heartbreaking stuff. <laughs> With that said, I do want to go into a little more detail as to why Krillin is widely considered to be one of the worst, if not the worst characters in the game, uh, because he is my favorite character and a character I would say that I put a lot of time into. So as for Krillin, he's really just a character that is held back in way too many areas. His normals are all really stubby and as such kind of suck. Um, he has a great theme. I don't think anybody would argue with that. Krillin's Kamehameha is probably one of the best in the game and it's just super great for keeping people at range. But unfortunately, that alone is not enough. They've also hit him with a few nerfs, changed up a huge part of his style, making it so a lot of longtime Krillin mains that were putting up with a bad character already kind of just dropped him moved on. Add on to the fact that Krillin has one of the worst assists in the game, if not the worst. Uh, it just feels like Krillin is the one character in this game where you switch him out. Anybody else you switch out, you're like, okay, that's fine. They'll heal up and I can still use their assist if I need to. Krillin, it's like if you switch him out, it's like, well, I, I'm playing with two characters. Krillin is practically dead right now. And really no other character feels exactly like that. Uh, and it's just a weird feeling to have in a tag fighting game. So to keep things short, Krillin is basically so much work just to get a very little return. And once you switch him out off the field, he's almost useless. The rest of the bottom tier characters on both Goichi and No Kami's tier list are pretty much similar. You've got characters like Jiren and Android 17 there who are also characters that struggle very much so in different aspects of the game. Jiren's neutral is pretty decent but he lacks ways to open people up and Android 17 just kind of struggles in a lot of areas that he always has struggle in although he isn't the absolute trash character that he once was considered. Really the only lower tier choice that stood out to me was Goichi's decision to put Captain Ginyu in C tier uh, considering that Japan has a lot of great Ginyu players. Maybe they're moving on from him over there or they've just played against so many top tier Ginyu players that it's not a threat anymore but from what I've seen Ginyu is a really scary character still and one that I would definitely easily put in B tier I, I would really like to hear Goichi's thoughts on that or your thoughts down below in the comments but I don't know dude I, I still think Ginyu is kind of a threat moving up to B tier now this is where you're going to start to see the game kind of condense a little and this is the area of Dragon Ball Fighters where I would say that you could change the most uh, you know if you show me a really good player on one guy uh, that could jump them up pretty high here uh, because they're all relatively close, at least in my opinion. A few standout characters on both of these tier lists would probably be Android 16 being in B, as well as base Goku being in B in both of these. So really with Android 16, you know, this is a continuing trend with this guy. He was really top tier, super busted when fighters initially released, and then slowly over the course of the game, they've been taking away elements from him. Uh, and now we're currently seeing Android 16 in probably his weakest state. Not too many players are playing him, but uh, obviously being in B tier, he still gets results. You know, there's still 16 players out there that take advantage of his bigger normal but really the thing that hurts this character is the fact that he is easily fuzzied uh, and that's a huge thing. So if you're going to be playing him, you really have to commit to the fact that there are going to be situations on defense where you just kind of got to make a guess uh, and a lot of players aren't really willing to put up with that or the character they're getting in return. The other character I really wanted to talk about being in B is base Goku. Now this is a character that I have not really been a fan of for a while. And that's because of a few reasons he lacks a normal level three. So in situations where you're the last one alive, missing that little bit of consistency to get a hard knockdown into a mix reliably, I've really docked him some points in my opinion, as well as it just being pretty awkward to try to get a normal sliding with him as well. Nowadays though, there are a few base Gokus making absolute waves with the character. Uh, this one here, Wawa, is a crazy base Goku player. I've been watching a lot of his stuff recently. Uh, and let's just say this guy alone made me want to put base Goku in B. I know Nokami mentioned him in his stream, but I don't know if Goichi is also seeing this same base Goku. But realistically, this character does have some stuff, and I could I could see him being low B. Uh, for me, for me, he probably would be the lowest character in B tier. Now, as for discrepancies between these two tier lists, the biggest one is probably going to be Vegito being in B for Goichi and not being there in Nokami's list. Now, I gotta admit, I would probably 
side with no Kami and say that Vegito has to be A tier, in my opinion. At least low A tier. Uh, the character just does so much damage, uh, generates a decent amount of bar off hit, and really, really, at, as soon as he gets the hit, he really makes a lot of it uh, happen. He's also pretty good on block, I think. As, if, if you got good defense, he won't be able to open you up. That's kind of his fatal flaw, but uh, he can make you block for a long time with that stagger pressure. Card canceling in general, probably not a great idea against Vegito, because if they bait that out, that, that's a huge punish coming your way. As for Goichi, though, there really wasn't some commentary with his tier list, uh, so we don't know why he put him there, but but I'd probably guess that Goichi is just kind of at another level when it comes to defense, so a character struggling to open people up is probably a pretty huge deal for him. Other characters in B worth mentioning are Frieza, Majin Buu, Beerus. These are all characters that can get some decent mileage off of, but take a lot of work from people that you know, are just pretty much character enthusiasts. Uh, if you're not a super fan of these characters, they're probably not worth putting time into. But if you do decide to dedicate the hours, uh, Frieza can get some results that we've been seeing with Alucard. And of course, Majin Buu has always been that character that you can just get mixed by if you don't know what you're doing. So all good additions to the B tier, in my opinion. Moving on up to the A tier, where you will find the most amount of characters out of any tier in the game. And I definitely agree with that. Uh, there are a lot of good characters to choose from. Uh, speaking of Majin Buu, no Kami even has him up there in A. As for other standouts, you have characters like Goku Blue, who just puts on a ton of pressure. Cooler, who I think is insanely strong. Uh, Piccolo, another character that we see in top tier a lot. And then you got characters like Cell, Android 21, Yu Zamasu. All of these characters, yeah, it's crazy that they're an A, but there's just so many better characters as well. Yu Zamasu, if he touches you, that's huge damage. Piccolo, if he touches you, that's huge damage. Cell's gonna make you block for a while, then you're gonna get touched, then you're gonna take huge damage. And then you got Super Saiyan Goku, who's single-handedly probably the most consistent character in this game. Great beam assist for when he's not on the field. Fantastic normals for when he is. Level three is really good. Uh, damage with a lot of bar is really good. He's just a fantastic character. Same goes for Super Saiyan Vegeta as well. Yamcha also makes his way into the A tier for a similar reason. Yamcha as a standalone character can get a lot of work done, but when he's off the field, that Yamcha assist really shines. And I think at this point, players just know that that Yamcha assist alone is probably going to solidify him in this A tier for a long time to come. One character that is in both A for Goichi and S for Nokami is Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. And this guy, man, talk about making waves. This guy has gone from pretty low tier to uh, unquestionably one of the best characters in the game. His assist is amazing. His zoning is really good. Those key blasts are deadly. His level three Oki got a lot better thanks to the patch. Add on to that that he has pretty decent normals with armor on some of them as well as a command grab and you got a character that is going to make a lot of people mad i wouldn't be surprised if broly if you're like at a lower level or even like an online tier list broly might be even higher than this honestly he, he's crazy broly is a crazy character also in s we have the gohans you got teen gohan and adult gohan uh pretty similar i actually really like what nokami said about these two adult gohan is better up close and probably overall a little better than teen gohan but teen gohan has a lot of those same traits while also playing better neutral uh, and really that's what comes down to why he's so popular right now this dude is tearing it up his key blasts are just so great and his damage on some of his combos are insane so yeah i would definitely say teen gohan is the most improved character of the bunch jumping from uh probably like bottom tier probably like b or c to now s that's character development pretty soon he's actually gonna be banned from tournaments <laughs> after those characters though it kind of gets a little bland you know you know the big three by now you got bardock kid boo and goku gt these are the big three for a reason these are the guys that play dragon ball fighters at its very core Goku GT has all that damage by himself, as well as being able to set up into his own spirit bomb for an insane mix-up on Wake Up. He's just a crazy character. Bardock, of course, would probably be my vote for single best character in the game, just because of how reliable he is. His buttons are great. His lights are great. Uh, all of his specials have a purpose. But yeah, you really don't need to talk too much about Bardock. He's been he's been doing this since he came out. And then Kid Buu, who I assume some people would be surprised by, but really he's just an overall solid character. He's just got so many ways to open people up, which is another quality a lot of these top tier characters have. And his assist when he's in the back is pretty useful as well, forcing people to block for a super long time. But that about wraps up the talk for those two tier lists. You can kind of see some similarities between them and how the overall opinion of the game is shaping up going into EVO. Uh, which I do expect Evo to shake things up some more. I just thought it would be more fun to talk about this before the tournament instead of after. Uh, so you have a decent idea of going in uh, what characters' strengths and weaknesses are uh, and where a lot of people are ranking them right now. As for my tier list, you can see I, I have a lot of the same placements. Like I said, I don't disagree with too many things here. Uh, Bardock is my number one pick for best character just because you're going to see him more often than Kid Buu, I think. Uh, he's a lot easier to pick up, play, and get really good with, which is kind of what makes the difference. Kid Buu comes directly after into Goku GT and then 
the Gohans. And then I got Broly leading the A tier. I don't know. Broly is pretty good, but I don't think he has the same qualities as the top five do. Uh, but yeah, Broly's easily number six for me. And then everything else is in order. I got Goku after Broly. Again, consistency is the thing I like to look for. Uh, I want to know the characters that are going to get results uh, being played a lot over a longer period of time. Damasu just for the damage. Piccolo is a classic. You got to have him up there. Uh, Vegito and so on and so on. Uh, I got Cooler there pretty low, but that's really because, you know, he gets fuzzied and not a lot of people are playing Cooler. I think he could jump up though. Uh, if, if more good, if more great players pick him up, Cooler could easily jump up. In B tier, I got Majin Buu leading it off as well as Android 18, who we didn't talk about too much, but I'm kind of confused on where Android 18 should go. Right now, you got one player, uh, Shanks, who's playing a mean 18, uh, makes that character look S tier. But so I would like to see more gameplay from that guy because I think he's really leading the way on what 18 should be doing right now. 16, Goku, Black, Tien, all those other characters in B tier. C tier, I got Nappa leading the way just because I, I don't know. I kind of like Nappa. Ace Vegeta after him because of those recent nerfs. 17, Jiren. And then of course, I got I got Krillin in a tier of his own, dude, rocking it down there. How unfortunate, man. I, I, Dragon Ball Fighters two or Dragon Ball Fighter season three. S somebody save Krillin. Somebody help my boy. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tier list video. Make sure you go down below in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Uh, maybe even give me your top five or bottom five, whichever one you want to do. And I'll be sure to be down in the comments as always. Uh, while you're down there though, if you like this video and the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and check out those links to these players uh, down below as well in the pinned comment. If you want to watch videos of me actually playing this game, you can go ahead and look on your screen right now. There should be some videos up there. So give those a watch if they catch your eye. Other than that, I have been Dr. Doya. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.